so hello everybody uh, welcome back to this tutorial and today I'm gonna be showing us how to make low poly water with this asset pack that this person Ebru Dogen made because I can't make water myself because it's quite a hard topic to actually teach so I decided to find this really cool um, asset pack and teach you guys how to use this so to make a really cool um water I already downloaded it so after you click add to my assets It'll make you log in, and then you can add to your assets, move into your Unity assets to or download it, and then, oops, I clicked on the button. Um, so after you finish that, you want to just click import. I will decompress, and then I'll show you this. We don't need the demo scene. We don't need. We need the animation, most likely. I don't really use it, but I still want to keep it just in case. It's gonna import that, and it will take some time. And after it is done loading, I'll see you guys then. Alright. So it's complete. You see, if you go in here, like the normal asset pack, there's no prefab. So if you are like a normal person like me, you will look all around just to find that one prefab folder, but in reality, there isn't one. You have to go to game objects and then go to low poly water and generate water plane. And over here, just type the name. I'm going to call this ocean. With segment at 10, 10, and 100, and 100. You want to add collider. Okay, I'll create two and I'll show you what the difference is. But really, there's no difference. I'm going to just add collider because I just like it. I'm going to add it in and you'll see this is huge point that does nothing right now. So if you click play, you can see that it actually starts animating like an original, like a normal water plane. So it's doing nicely. I'm gonna just move the camera a bit back and then rotate it up. In just a sec. Move it and then rotate it down so you guys can see how my water looks like right now. So currently in my game, this is how it looks like. So if you want to just change this a bit because you don't like the movement. Can always use this low poly water script that they prepared. If you want to do it now? I'm gonna change it to three, three. You see, that's really fast. You can add that, it looks more nice. And this one looks more relaxing. You can put this to five. I don't know why would you would do that, that looks really weird. And then, or you can put it to three. Three probably looks the best. This is like the speed, so like if you put this to like 10, it'll be really fast. So that was just like a computer. Just put it something like nice 0.1, that's like a really slow one, 0.5 is kind of like medium. It kind of just like shows you the relaxation. One would be like a fast wave-ish thing. So if you're going to create something that's like a beach simulator or something, I suggest this is probably the best idea you have, you should go for. And this probably at around 2. This should be really nice. And if you just don't like these at all, Feel free to tweak your own numbers because this is in my own experience and how I think of this asset pack. And as I said just a few minutes ago about the colliders, this is what you do to check if it does. Let's say you have an island you want to place. You can place a cube and I'm going to change this to something like 50. And 50. And 50. And I'm just going to move this up. And you guys can see that the colliders inside the ocean actually starts to show so there's these little things so if this was the first person controller you would see these little foams which is nice actually and if you want to see it more clearly you can just add a new material no, don't give it any color like give it a nice red color I guess and then give it to the ocean no wait I'll give it to cube instead of wrong to cube, and you can see the white foams which is really nice and that's all I have for this week's tutorial I'll try to upload one tutorial every week but it's not guaranteed because my schedule is not too nicely balanced yet but I'll try my best to upload as much as possible and I'll be editing some of my own videos but I'll have Puggets, which is another channel, help me edit some parts because he's more experienced, I would say, in editing, and he has a sense of humor that actually most people can't understand. 
And so, just remember to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And if you want to watch more of the tutorials, hit the bell to um, get notified when I make new tutorials on Unity. Subscribe to Puggets because he's quite a good channel on Minecraft. I know it's quite a old game. Anyway, that's all I have, like I said, and join the Discord server for more notifications and announcements on the channel. Support me on Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.